former student of, of Sunderland uh, that you mentioned, uh, how happy are you to see a marathon here in the city? I'm, I'm really, really excited uh, about having a marathon. It's, it's the event that defined my running career. And there are lots of half marathons and 10Ks on, but there's been a real dearth of marathons around the country, apart from the London Marathon. And I think it's great that they're having one in the north. And the fact that it's in Sunderland is really special to me because uh, I used to be a, a student at Sunderland, it was Sunderland Polytechnic in those days, and um, I come to Sunderland every every two weeks as a Sunderland supporter. So it's great. I'm really pleased that there's an event. How would you how would you describe the course and what what kind of um, you know are people going to see on on the route? Is it going to show off the city? Yes, it, it is. It shows off all the the best and interesting bits of the city. Uh, I mean, 26 miles is a very long way, so it covers pretty much the whole place. Um, but the, the produced a very good course that so you don't have to do any laps it's just a continuous route although there are places where um, the runners will be going one way down the road and seeing others come up the other way but it's a good course it's slightly undulating but th uh, I, I like that you don't want 26 miles of completely flat straight roads it gets it gets too monotonous uh, so a little bit of change of direction stuff just uh, is is excellent i think it would be a great course yeah you know what we're trying to do is actually fit into you know the sunland city council will have a, a a strong desire to try and offer a, a, a range of events throughout the year you know whether you like music or you like sport or culture or whatever and you know working with the with the other you know the university in town the football club etc we want to try and make people want to come to sunland and for those who already live here to have things that they can do that includes running events. Mm. So, you know, the weekend is part of what I hope is going to be a big summer here. You know, and we have the marathon, we have the 10K, we're going to have some kids events on the Saturday, we've got some mile races, there's going to be a pasta party, you know, mm. so hopefully there's a, there'll be a lot going on. Uh, how big a part does Sunderland and like run clubs such as Sunderland Harriers like play in getting, getting all those sign ups? Well, they're, they're quite important because I, actually one of the things we use the clubs for, some in Harris, some in Strollers, is, is they also have a lot of volunteers that we tap into. Mm. Um, we've got to have lots of help, marshals on the course, etc. So even if they're not running, um, they can be a big help to us as well. But yeah, the Harriers have um, set up um, some training groups. You know, and they, they've sort of said if anyone who's not normally, you know, they want to run the marathon, they don't really know about training, or they don't have anyone to train with, so they set up a little program of um, training tips and, and groups for people to get together which is fantastic mm. you know we part of the reason I'm doing these events is to get more people interested in running as well so we have a club challenge as well so um, to the athletic clubs around the northeast and wider field there's a prize a cash prize for the best performance across the event so you've got to have someone in the junior run You've got to have, uh, I think, three or four people in the 10k and, and at least one in the marathon. Yeah. So it, it, it you know, encourages the clubs to get involved. For well, people who are per perhaps swithering on whether to accept the challenge of the marathon or not, what kind of advice would, would you like to offer them? If you're going to do the marathon, you've got to really take it seriously. It isn't something you think, oh, I'll just give it a go, because that really will find you out. It, uh, it's a very long way. You've got to pre be prepared properly and physically. And mentally for it, you've got to have your your, your head around it, and uh, because it's it's a very long way and it's and it's tough, and you get very tired doing it. Uh, but if you've got a, a good motivation, a really good reason to be doing it, why you want to do it, and you prepare properly for it, it's it's a fantastic feeling of achievement when you when you finish.